much for joining me in today's video. I have got this super cute fall project planned and I can't wait to share it with you. We're going to do one right here on video, but this is so easy and you can customize it and make it your own. I hope that you all had a great long weekend. I did a lot of organizing in my craft room and spending time with my family. So I hope that you all had a wonderful weekend as well. So in today's video, we're going to be making this really cute loaded treat bag. It's so much fun to make and I've got lots of goodies stuffed in here and some paper shred and I can't wait to show you. I'm even going to show you how to package this up at the end of the video um, if you're going to make these for craft fairs or send them in the mail to friends. So just keep watching. Let's get started. So let me first show you what's in here. So I just put some of this paper shred in here that I got at Dollar Tree and I'll show you the package in a minute. And then in here I have one of these caramel apple pops. I have an apple cider mix. And I got these from Amazon. They can be hard to find sometimes so I'll link them below for you. And then I got this and it smells so good it makes your entire like little bag smell so good it's the chai pumpkin spice tea and I also found this on Amazon and I'll link it below and then one of these milk chocolate caramel Ghirardelli's and these I liked because of the golden packaging it kind of matched my little theme here and then this is the cute little pouch that I made and I cannot wait to show you what I made it with so let's go ahead and get started on this really super easy tutorial. Okay, so here's the materials that I use for this project. The most important thing is this item right here. These are the sacks and things, little mini paper bags from Hobby Lobby. So these measure three and a half by six and about three quarters, and they are the little mini ones. So I know that also Michaels has the little mini celebrated bags. So I think these are so cute. They're little adorable bags and I'm using them as my pouch for my goodies. So you can customize this however you want. You don't have to put treats in there. You can use this to send ephemera or paper samples or like a little card kit, anything for your pen pal or you can sell these at your craft fair. These are very inexpensive. They're only $2.99 and you get 16 of them. So. Let me show you how to make this. It's so easy. I'm using this paper pad today, and this is called Fall Tapestry. I got this at Michael's last year on a hot buy. So you can use literally any paper you have. It's so easy. And then I got some of this decorative shred at the Dollar Tree, and this is like fall colors. So I'm also using some of that. Okay, so next let me just show you the dimensions of paper that you'll need. So these are the papers that you'll need to make one of these cute little loaded bags. So you'll need a piece of scrapbook paper that measures three and a quarter by two. And then you're going to need one that measures three and a quarter by two and a half. And then the last piece you'll need measures three and a quarter by four and a quarter. So three and a quarter by four and a quarter. So that's all you're gonna need to decorate one of these cute bags. And then I also used some ribbon, and I like using this one because it's like double-sided ribbon, and I just got this at Hobby Lobby. And that's pretty much all you're going to need, so let's go ahead and get started in making one of these cute loaded bags. Okay, so to get started, all we're going to do is take our piece that measures three and a quarter by two and a half, and that's going to go at the very top of your bag like this, leaving a little bit of a border all the way around the top and the two sides because this right here is where the back is, where you have this little flap. What we're going to be doing is gluing this up like this. So I have that covered and this goes a little bit below where that pocket starts. And that's the first thing we're going to glue down and then we're going to work with this piece. So just take that piece and glue it down. And yes, my ATG gun is back. I decided that this is the best roller adhesive that I've used besides my score tape, of course. Okay, so now that we have this piece, you're just, again, gonna have a little bit of an even border on the top and the two sides. So just make sure that's even. So I'm gonna stick that on there as straight as possible. So that's kind of what it looks like, and then when you put the pocket up like this, it'll cover the bottom. 
So then what I like to do is just take this little flap right here, lay down some ATG and just get that out of the way so it doesn't move on us. Then just take some wet glue and put glue on both sides of this little flap because it's going to make a pocket. And then I'm just going to flip that up, make sure it's on there straight. So I like to put something heavy on there for a second to let it dry and just put it aside. And then I'm going to get my ribbon. So this is about 17 inches of ribbon. Okay, so let me put that ribbon aside, bring this back. And now we're just going to cover this cute little pocket. So this is the piece that's going to show the most because you're going to be putting goodies in there and it's going to kind of cover this part up. So I chose this cute little piece here and we're just going to mat that pocket and there's going to be an even border all the way around. So just glue that down. Once you get started on these, you can totally do them assembly style. That's what I'm going to be doing. So again, put this on there and there's going to be a little border of that craft bag all the way around. Okay, so now we've got that on there and the glue's dry and it makes a cute little pocket now. So see, that is a cute pocket for the tea bag and the chocolate. And then up here you've got lots of room to put goodies. So now we just have to do the back. So before we put the back piece on right there, I want to adhere the ribbon. And so I do that about one third of the way down right there. Just take a strip of your ATG and then just find the middle of the ribbon and place it on there. I'm going to take our piece that measures three and a quarter by four and a quarter and we're going to mat that right there. Now we have that all done and our cute pouch is all ready to be filled up. I love how that turned out. So again, these are the items that I chose to put in my cute little loaded bag. So I'm putting in an apple cider mix and I'm going to put that right in the front gusset. Then I'm going to take my caramel apple sucker and stick this in the back, kind of at an angle. And then the pumpkin spice chai tea. I'm going to stick in the front pocket like that. And then I'll stick the Ghirardelli square right behind there. I just think that's super adorable. And then I'm going to tie the ribbon, kind of to hold these little items in there too, but also to give it a cute little decorative touch. So I have found um, with these that it will slide around. So you need to do a double knot if you want it to stay pretty secure. Oh my goodness, this turned out super cute. And then to give it a last little finishing touch, I'm going to take some of this, just a little tiny bit, like that much. I feel like it just gives it a little festive fall touch. And just Okay, so there's our cute little loaded paper bag. I think it is so adorable and mini. And again, you can put whatever you want in here. It's nice and finished all the way around. And again, I'm gonna show you how to package these up, but let's do a few more of these first. Okay, so I have all of these done and the ribbons are on there. They're ready to fill with goodies. So I'm gonna set these aside and fill them as I need them. But I've got the two here that were finished and I'm gonna show you how I would package these up for a craft fair or if you're gonna mail them to a friend. So I have these clear bags here and this is the size. I will link these exact ones below along with a coupon code. 
So I would just take one of these bags, and these are the size that fits these perfectly. And take your cute little pouch and slip them in the front. So the front is where the flap is longer. And stick that in there. You can even add more of that paper shred if you want. Plus it looks cute and decorative that way. I think that's super cute. And just simply take this and close it up. And it gives it a really nice presentation. So I'm going to close that up just like this. So this is how it looks all packaged up. I think it's so pretty. And again, you can fill this with whatever you want. I would love to do some like little mini card kits and put some mini envelopes in there and little note cards. Maybe put a note back here and slip that in there. I think this would be super cute for any craft fair. But if you do want to sell these at your craft fair, I think a great price for these it would be $5. So I have all the rest of these that I can fill up and give to coworkers or neighbors or friends, family. Um, a little, if you have a little brunch for fall, you can do these for your guests um, or sell them at your craft fair. And I'd like to thank all of you so much for your support and your kind comments. And for those of you who have supported my Etsy shop, I would like to thank you so much. So I am trying to slowly but surely get that more stocked. And I'm just so thankful for all of you. Hope you enjoyed this fun little project and you'll give it a try yourself. I know I had so much fun with it. Have a great week, everybody, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye!